All right, here we go. Two years. Two years. That's how long it's been since I've posted a LEGO City video. It's actually amazing how much life can change in two years. Except in the LEGO City, nothing has changed at all. There's only one thing to do, and that's to take everything off the tables. Every single minifigure off the tables, every vehicle off the table, and start fresh. Completely reorganize, completely redo the city. For me, updating the LEGO City is much more than changing around the location of the characters and the models and all that stuff. It's about giving them life. Every single minifigure in the city has its own purpose. Maybe they're working on building my next mock. Maybe they're driving a vehicle. Maybe they're dancing on top of a building. And each of those little moments all builds up to something greater. Starting off looking at the quote unquote main street of the LEGO City, this is usually one of the busiest streets of the city, but right now you can see the street's actually closed off because we actually have a race going on down here. The minifigs are trying to see who is faster, the Formula One race car or Lloyd on a motorcycle. Moving out front here, you can see that Fred and George have had another joke experiment go horribly wrong. You see they have a giant banana there. They were trying some new banana growing charms and you see Fred and George there are having quite a good laugh at their new friend. Looking down at the beach in my Lego city, you'll see that Santa Claus there is going surfing. Christmas is officially over, so he's taking a much needed vacation, much to the disliking of this gingerbread guy in the back. I feel like these are the little moments that often get taken for granted when people watch a Lego video. Oh, you know, there's a million Lego cities out there and every Lego city looks the same with the police officer catching the bad guy, with Harry and Dumbledore fighting Voldemort. Why not do something different? Over here, this is the Harry Potter display. This is arguably the most exciting and most popular part of my Lego city. And you can see down here that Professor Umbridge has just put out a new declaration saying that students are not allowed to have fun at Hogwarts, but it seems like everyone at Hogwarts has revolted. We can see Dumbledore is right here and he is actually leading a giant conga line of students that starts out here and goes all the way inside of one of the buildings in the back there. And President Business doesn't look too happy that he got a burnt hot dog while on his lunch meeting, but he actually shouldn't be too happy because his city owns very street sweeper is actually running over the mayor of Gotham City. What is going on there? This might actually be one of my favorite displays in the Lego City right now. We have the White Ninja Zane fighting off a Dementor using a 501st clone trooper walker. And although the Lego City can be as outside of the box as you want it to be, it also reflects light. Looking back here, you can see that the Lego City Fairground Mixer is all packed up and it's driving off. Don't worry, it'll be back next year though, but the reason that the mixer is leaving was to make room so I could slide everything on the tables down this way so I'd have room to put this set right here, which is the burrow. Now this set is really special and important to me because this actually was a set that a bunch of you guys recommended when I first got paid from the YouTube Partner Program, I asked a bunch of subscribers what set I should buy and review, and this was the choice. So this set would not be in the city without all of you. Because at the end of the day, the LEGO City is not just a collection of buildings, a collection of LEGO mocks, a big gathering of LEGO minifigures. At the end of the day, the LEGO City is an expression of yourself and your experiences and everything you've done. You'll see there's always quite a lot of hustle and bustle in the city. I like to imagine this LEGO City is a lot like New York, so you can see that Cole is down there crossing the street in front of traffic, but he's got a good reason. He's going over there to get food from the market stand. Looking back here, you can see that this couple is going for a bit of a stroll down on a pier. This guy down here seems really excited because he is going on a trip to the city's Lego store to get some promotions for May the 4th. Looking in here, you'll see that my city's construction crew has moved on from the Quidditch pitch and they're actually working right now on building a Lego arcade. So this is a mock that I had started quite some time ago and I really hadn't made too much progress on it. So you can see that these guys are in here trying to get it done. This guy is kind of watching the crane as it brings down a new shipment of parts right there. There's also a 
little truck in the back here that is carrying in a bunch of new parts as well. And everyone is in there just having a good time, singing everything is awesome. You can see Emmett is down there enjoying himself. Down here you can see Lego Batman and he's got a money suit because he's going to be making a lot of money with his new movie that's coming out. You can see right there that Batman is shooting that one using a red camera. And that is pretty much it. A complete look at my Lego City. My first Lego City update in two years. I think it's, you know, a fun one, a big one, and very glad to have been able to share it with all of you guys. So that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Um, you know, kind of a different approach at a Lego City video. And I know it's been, like I said, you know, it's been two years, but that doesn't mean that we're not creating, we're not doing things. and. Working on something as creative as the city is something that requires just time. You know, if I wanted to bang, 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 put out a new Lego City video as much as possible, I could do that, but that would lose a lot of the creativity and personal touch that I think is what makes the Lego City just so amazing. So anyways, that's gonna be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That is the most recent look at my Lego City. And I really appreciate you guys taking the time to check it out, joining me on this journey. And that's it for this one though. I'll talk to you all again in the next video.